hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome so this is the second part of the video as i showed you yesterday that i did make the wig so i'm going to show you how i color it so you will need your bw and your developer i use the 20 and also your glove so now i'm going to go ahead and section off the hair i'm going to start from the back and i'm also going to be doing something different when i color the hair so you guys are going to see what i'm talking about so go ahead and clip your hair up And as you can see, I did went ahead and I mixed it up. And this is the um, what I want. I don't want it to be too runny. This texture is good for me. So I'm going to go ahead and put my gloves on. And also you're going to need your foil paper. So... This is it. <laughs> Never did this before. This is my first time on camera. So if I fail, you guys are gonna see it. So the way I'm gonna color my hair, I'm gonna take this comb. This is a comb that you have to use though. You can't use any comb. So I'm gonna go under the hair, go through it, go under, go through, go under, go through. It's like, I don't know what you guys call this kind of thing, but I just feel like I want to do this here today just like this so yeah I'm gonna go under go through go under go through and then I'm gonna take that section of the hair that is on top and take it out and hold it and the hair that I have into my hand that's the one I'll be coloring so the other part of the hair will be a regular black I'm not gonna touch it at all so yeah um let me know in the comment section what you what you call these kind of you know up and down thing <laughs> i don't know but yeah the one that i hold that's the one i'm going to be coloring so i'm going to use my um stuff that i already mixed up and i'm going to go ahead and put it right on top of that here okay so yeah i'm pretty much gonna do the whole entire hair just like this and then after i finish putting that developer onto the hair i'm gonna use my comb and comb it out and then i'm gonna put my foil paper just to make sure that it is it doesn't touch the um other section of the hair because this is the only part i want to be colored Also, make sure you have your um, paper towel or your washcloth just to wipe off your hand so that when you go into the other section, it doesn't mess up the whole entire hair. So I'm just going to show you guys one more time in real life motion, in, out, in, out. It's like a wave. You know how a wave look? That's what you got to do. In and out, in and out. I saw this on Instagram and I was like I'm gonna try this so yeah <laughs> I did it and I love the way how it turned out so I'm just gonna go ahead and just show you guys what I do and then the rest I'm gonna go ahead and speed up but as I said this is a part that I'm gonna be coloring that I have into my hand and then I'm gonna put the foil over it when I finish combing out but I'm gonna make sure that everything is covered um, with that developer
so I just want to show you guys how it looks like this is a 20 developer you guys see that my hair is like the good shit okay I not even finished completing the hair and the hair is already turning and I don't want it to be too too bright like a 613 here I don't want that I want like a golden brown color so I'm gonna go ahead and take those off the foil the one that I already did in the beginning I'm gonna go ahead and take it off because it was getting really too light and I was like oh no I don't want it to be too light I want it to have like a golden color so I'm gonna go ahead and just take those foil off and then continue to do the rest of the hair So now I reach to the frontal section and this part is very crucial because you do not want to bleach the knots, okay? You bleach the knots when you want to um, do it from the beginning when I show you how I bleach my knots, but when you're coloring the hair, you do not want to bleach the knot. So I'm going to go ahead and take out a section and then pin the rest up and then I'm going to go ahead and do the wave motion in and out, in and out and then take that section and put my developer onto it but when i'm putting it on i'm going to make sure that i do not touch the lace the tip of the lace i'm going to be making sure that i am very careful at the top so that the lace itself does not bleach and as you can see i am using my brush in a different angle i'm not using it like i think it's horizontal I'm not using it at a horizontal if if that's the one <laughs> I don't know but I'm just making sure that I does I do not touch that lace so I'm gonna continue to do this all the way until I'm finished Okay guys, so I went ahead and I washed it off off camera, but I want to tell you what I put into this here to make it have like a two-tone dimension. I went ahead and I washed it out with my conditioner, not my conditioner, my shampoo. And then I went in with my purple shampoo and I let it sit for 10 minutes. And after that, I washed it out. And then I put the cream of nature, moisture rich hair coloring. And this one is in light blonde and then I let it sit for 10 minutes and then I wash it out and this is the color I got. I was so impressed and I also did let it air dry. I did not wash, did not um, blow dry it or anything. I just let it air dry. So now I'm going to go in with my wax stick and I did use that heat protector oil that you see me using all over the hair because I will be curling this hair up. So I'm going to go in with my hot comb and I'm going to go ahead and just bring those hair back because when I put it on onto my head, I don't want any hair to be all over the place. I want it to be flat. So any flyaways, I'm going to go ahead and bring it all the way back. And look at a color. Oh my God. I am in love. So now is the other section of this video and I went ahead and I put a one comb into the hair and then I'm going to go ahead and put it on just to make sure that it looks good onto my head and it matches and fits properly before I start to glue it on. By the way, I'm not going to be gluing on this hair. I'll be using the bed head to spray and secure this wig. So guys, I want to tell you my mistake. I want to show you my mistake. I don't want to edit anything out. This is the Ruby Kisses in level 14. Okay. 
remember there's different level to this it's not, this one I have is a level 14 I should have buy level 15 to 16 because you're gonna see my mistake and I want to show you guys I don't want to edit anything out and say yes yeah, perfect no I should have buy a darker shade okay I'm gonna put it onto the lace um, but when you see me put it on and cut the lace you're gonna see that it is way lighter for me but in the end I'm gonna go ahead and fix it but I was getting so frustrated I almost give up this video almost didn't come out because I was like why is my lace not blending and I realized it's the level that I'm using which was lighter for my skin tone so if you're my skin tone get a level 15 to 16 and you will <laughs> you will be much better than what I did today but I just want to show you guys my mistake because this is a HD lace HD lace is very 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 thin it will blend in so well with any skin tone but you have to make sure that you you get a foundation or a powder to match your skin tone so yeah <laughs> okay so I'm gonna pin my hair up and then I'm gonna take my bed head hard head spray got this from Amazon you guys saw me use this a lot of time on my video so I'm gonna go ahead and spray it on but I'm gonna spray it onto the forehead first and then I'm gonna let it kind of dry a little bit and then I'm gonna spray a second one onto it and then before that second one dry I'm gonna go ahead and lay that lace onto it and blow dry it so yeah I want to try something different though like I want to try another holding spray because I feel like I mean I know that the bed head is good but it was a little bit white like flaky white I don't know because I was spraying it too close to my hairline but it was you know a little flaky but you just use your alcohol and wipe it off and it comes off but any other suggestion let me know and I um, will be trying different hairspray So I'm going to go ahead and lay that on and hold it very properly and then um, blow dry it. So now that everything is all tight down, I'm going to go ahead and pin my hair up and then I'm also going to use my elastic belt just to put over the lace and let it sit for like 5 minutes and then I'm going to go ahead and take it off and then cut that lace off.
So now that the five minutes is up, I'm gonna go ahead and just take this pan off and then start cutting the lace. So I'm gonna use my eyebrow shaper and I'm gonna cut the lace section by section. And while I cut it, I'm gonna go ahead and spray the bed head just to melt it in more. But when I was looking in the monitor, it was so weird because I'm gonna show you how it looked in natural lighting. Like I went outside and I took a video and I posted on Instagram, you guys, if you're not following me then you don't see it but um it's just weird um i don't know what to say but it was just not melting even though i put the bed head and it looks like it was melting but when it completely completely dry it was like a white cast and i was just getting so frustrated like look right here you see when i spray the bed head and then I dry it, it was melting, like you can't even see the lace right now, but when it's completely, completely dry, it was like, it was a white shadow. But as I said, I eventually fix it, and I'm gonna show you guys how I fix it. So I want to tie my hair one more time and as you can see, you can see that white line at the end and I'm going to use my wrapping strip. I got this from the beauty supply store before it was closed <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and tie it up and then I'm going to let it sit for like five minutes and then I'm going to take it off. So after it's all done, as you can see, I took it off and look at my face. I was like, what the fuck is this? I was like, what the hell? What am I doing wrong? I was like, no, 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 no. What is going on? So this is how I fix it. This is a two steps, by the way. <laughs> I went ahead and I used my makeup forever. This is what I use, the foundation. And this foundation just melts into my skin. When I have it on, it doesn't look like I have on any foundation. So I just tap a little bit. And as you can see, it is the white cast is melting. Like you can't even see it anymore. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it all over the tip part of the lace. And then I'm going to use the bed head just to spray it to lock everything in. But <laughs> as I said, use a foundation that is like darker than you. Not even darker than you, like your skin tone. Like your definite skin tone, the Ruby Kisses in level 14 is not my skin tone. I should be using level 15 to 16, but I showed you guys how I fixed it. And it even like it's melting in right now as you can see and this is how I get it to look more natural it's not the lace it's the way how I do it so 
when you order from me don't do what i do okay go to a professional because i am not a professional okay i am self-taught and i'm learning this as i go on camera so as you can see that it is definitely melting more look at that it is definitely melting and yeah i showed you guys that i use my foundation which i should have used it in the beginning but silly me i use the ruby kisses in the level 14 which was not a shade but yeah i fixed it and it looks so much better so i'm gonna go ahead and do a side soup just kind of like a curved side soup just to make it look nice and pretty i love this hair color this hair color does bring out my complexion like this was so nice i did not thought that it would come out so good but it everybody love it like everybody's like this looks good on you this look really good and i just pat myself on the shoulder because i did that okay i did that So I'm going to take a little bit for the baby hair. I am not a baby hair person. I hate baby hair. Maybe because I don't know how to do baby hair, but I am not a fan. So I'm going to take out a little piece um, on both sections and just, you know, try to do the baby hair. But don't come for me if my baby hair don't look good because I don't know how to do baby hair. Okay. <laughs> So now um, this is what I use because when I look back on my hair, I was like, it still have a little white shadow. So I went into that Morphe palette and those two shades I'm pointing to, I just tap it onto a brush and just tap a little bit onto the hairline and that's when it started to melt. I'm like, okay, yeah, I can't see the lace no more, but yeah, this is what I did and yeah, I want you guys to see my arrows my mistake and all of that because i am not perfect no one is so now i'm going to go ahead and curl the hair up i don't want any kind of tight curl i want to kind of like a wavy bouncy curl so i'm going to curl it up and i'm going to hold it for 10 seconds and then i'm going to let it go and hold it into my hand just so that it could be cool a little bit and then just drop it but i love the way how it curl so nice and I'm gonna continue to curl the whole entire hair. And then when I'm back curling, I will show you the final results. now this is the final and this curl is so nice i use my cream of nature hairspray with argan oil and i'm going to take a little bit because i don't want to put too much products in this hair and then i'm going to use my hand just to comb it out a little bit and i was in love i was so in love this hair is just giving me life it is so damn soft like this shit is so soft and just look at that hair color 
like look at that stiff wear and no wear right here but yeah i just want to show you the back how the color look it's like a two-tone color and i am just in love so yeah guys i'm gonna go ahead and style it here and make sure that it looks much better on camera <laughs> So yeah guys, this is the way how it look when I am all done. No makeup, no nothing on my face. Still natural and nice. And this is how I look when I have on makeup. Still pretty and nice. So yeah guys, this makeup look will be on my channel tomorrow. So make sure you guys tune in, in for more video because I do upload Monday through Friday. And yeah, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think about this whole entire look. And thank you guys for watching and for your support. And I'll see you tomorrow in my next video.